Dragon Legend is absolutely a phenomenon. Um, there are literally too many legends to count. They're in every tribe and nation, every people group, and uh, you have them in China, Australia, Africa, Europe, North America, and South America. In National Bridges National Monument, Utah, there's actually some carvings, petroglyphs, done by the Indians that even an evolutionist in an evolutionary textbook says looks like a sauropod dinosaur. And we've actually had a team go out there, they've seen it, photographed it, uh, did a wax cloth impression of it, and it just looks like a sauropod dinosaur. But of course the evolutionists would say, well no, it must be some mythical animal, why? Because dinosaurs didn't live with people. Well, how do you know that? And, and so to me, that sort of evidence. When you look at your dragon legends, many of the descriptions of those dragons actually fit nicely what we would call dinosaurs. And many of your dragon carvings, for instance, uh, that you see dragon paintings around the world, they look like some of the dinosaurs that we would understand existed from the fossil record. Obviously, if there are engravings of sauropod dinosaurs which are hundreds of years old, uh, prior to any scientist reconstructions of fossils, the only way that we could say that they could have done it so uh, intelligently was if they had viewed the creatures for themselves or at least had access to sketches or drawings or descriptions made by eyewitnesses of those creatures at around that time. As some people look at the fossil record, as some people look at evidence that humans and dinosaurs lived at the same time, they see uh, pictures, they see drawings, they see carvings, they see uh, work in metal and weaving of uh, individuals that have actually reproduced dinosaurs. And the American Indian is uh, one of those uh, uh, groups that has done that, especially in uh, paintings and, um, and drawings. Some people say, well, we don't want to have the Indian living at the dinosaur, so the, uh, the uh, Indian went ahead and found bones and then went ahead and assembled those bones into uh, the proper shape and then put the musculature and the skin on the bones and then based upon what they came up with, they then did a drawing showing what this dinosaur or uh, reptile would look like in life. Now, with all due respect to the, the skills of the American Indian, and there are a great many of them, I honestly don't know if paleontology uh, hundreds of years ago was one of them. Well, the very fact that we have these artifacts begs the question, how did they know to draw these? In other words, if they're mythological, how, did, how is it that they all drew the same exact myth, <laughs> and yet they're separated through distant time as well as distant geography? And the question, it's a tough one to answer because it depends on your worldview. And if you back up and think, if I just go based on the data, then it seems to suggest on its surface that these people, real live people at some point, encountered creatures that looked like this. 